Today we are making baked ditty. It's kind of a rainy November day. I mean, oh, wait a minute, it's the first of December today. What am I saying? It's December 1st and we are having rain. I'm making the meat sauce for the uh, baked ditty. I'm adding in a uh, smidgen of garlic. There we go. Get it all over there. Some oregano. And that was basil, and this is oregano. That's right. Basil, oregano, and garlic powder. Very good Italian ingredient. I'm now adding in the sauce. I also want to show you people something else that I made that I've been sort of criticized about my meatballs. Somebody told me, and my daughter told me the same thing, is make them in oil. It comes out a lot better. So I'm doing what everybody else is telling me to do, and you're all right. It, it does look a lot better in oil. Thank you for your advice. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little more sauce in here. This is the meat sauce. more. Oops, get in there, you little devils. Keep going. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit more and I'm going to show you how to make this cheese sauce. Okay. Okay, let this cook at low heat for a few minutes while I do the cheese sauce. In the cheese sauce, all I'm going to add in is a little garlic and a little bit of mozzarella cheese. Mozzarella cheese goes on just about anything on lasagna. It's the same thing with the ricotta cheese. And I'm going to mix this up a little bit. Here we go. This is the cheese sauce that's going into the ziti. Let me see how this meat is coming. Okay, this is, should be done. Just shut it off. I'm going to mix it up a little bit more and get some more sauce onto it. And we've got to wait for the ziti to get done. This is definitely done. I'm going to watch this spatula. I know it sounds weird. It goes to the same place, but uh, it's still too hot. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the meat sauce. Now, all right, keep this in mind. Some people take baked ziti without meat sauce. I like it with meat sauce. I think it gives it a wonderful flavor. I put some garlic on the meat sauce, some oregano in the base. Mix it all together. Mm, it still smells good. Nice Italian-y. Not a lot of meat in here, I admit to it, but it should be enough that it will give it some wonderful, delicious flavor. Okay, now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to add in the cheese sauce. Now everybody does it differently. Some people will leave it in a pot and cook it that way. I prefer to do it in a bowl. Just enough cheese sauce. I don't want to overdo the cheese sauce to get it too cheesy. There's ricotta cheese, mozzarella cheese, and a little garlic. There we go. And don't worry about it looking plain or whatever, I'm adding in more tomato sauce as soon as I put it into the casserole dish. Okay, we have the Italian cat here, Mittens. This cat is a unique cat. For some unknown reason, we think she came back from the 40s as a cat. She has a thing about spaghetti, meatballs, anything italian -y, this cat will go nuts over. Does anybody have any suggestions what to do with her? It's really funny. She also likes garlic bread with cheese, right, Mittens? In your past life, you must have been born in Italy. Italy. Put a little garlic in here, right, Mittens? Any more Mittens? Okay. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put the ziti into this casserole dish. Now it doesn't look too appetizing right now, because I'm, I'm going to add in some tomato sauce. She's watching me scoop out the ziti. Oh boy, but you want ziti, don't you? Now watch what this cat does. Mittens. Well, she doesn't want to eat it. Here, Mittens. See that? 
Unbelievable. Only cat that I know eats Italian food. Okay. All these cats seem to like Italian, but Mittens especially loves Italian. Now I'm going to pour the sauce over the zitti. The oven's just about ready to put up. Mittens, have a heart. All right, Mittens, one more and that's it. you got to get off the countertop or people are going to say, oh, that's disgusting. And I'm going to put the mozzarella cheese over the sauce. This is what this cat does. The only time she shows up, everybody, is for some unknown reason when I make anything Italian. Look at this. Have you ever seen anything like this in your life? Wow. All right, Mittens, get down. And what I'm going to do is, down, down. Come on, Mittens. Ooh. I'm going to put it on a cookie sheet, and I'm going to put it in my oven, and I'm going to cook it for about, um, I would say, 20 minutes. Alright, it's fine. And here we have Bay City Italian style with meatballs, Italian bread. Now, I forgot to add in salt. There are some people that can't have salt, unfortunately. So I'm adding in a little bit of salt to give it that nice taste. Devil Age Home Country Kitchen, have a great day.